Cluster Deformers in Maya let you control specific parts of your mesh quickly and with precision. They're great for facial rigs, cloth tugs, or small animated tweaks. And today we'll also understand a setting called Relative Mode with a side-by-side -side comparison. A Cluster Deformer lets you select a group of vertices and control them using a transform handle. You can move, rotate, or scale just that area without affecting the rest of the mesh. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Let's start by creating two identical models side by side. These will help us visualize the difference between relative on and off. On face A, select a small group of vertices. Now go to deform, then cluster options and make sure relative is off. Do the same for the face B and this time turn on the relative mode. Now create a rectangle to parent both the cluster and face to it for each face for the comparison. Select face and the cluster together and then shift select the rectangle. Then hit P to parent. Do the same for the other face to parent the rectangle to the cluster and face. On the left with relative off, the cluster behaves based on its new local position, making the shape distorted. While on the right with relative on, the cluster keeps using the original base mesh position as a reference. This is super important when rigging. If you're parenting clusters under controls or joints, relative on helps avoid double transforms. Now let's do something practical, like controlling the tip of the nose. Select the area and apply a new cluster, this time with relative on, since we're pretending this is part of a facial rig. Moving it gives you control over the nose tip, but maybe the fall off feels too sharp. Let's refine the influence using paint cluster weights. Right click the model and go to paint, then cluster to adjust the weight. Now you can see the weight map. White means full influence, black means none. Use the brush to soften the edges or add more weight to nearby points. This gives you a more natural and controllable deformation. That's a full walkthrough of how cluster deformers work, including relative mode, practical usage and weight painting. Next up, we'll explore another essential deformer in the toolkit. Don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you have questions.